From now on, a world that is Wogan-less. From the breakfast show, which had been Sir Terry Wogan's home for nearly 30 years, this morning, this tribute. He was radio's Eric Morecambe, Ronnie Barker. He was our Captain Mannering, our Basil Fawlty. But he made us laugh every day for two hours. We're trying to cram as many of these old favourite in before we go. With warmth and quick wit, the presenter earned himself so many fans. Fans, Wogan called his friends. Chris Evans, who took over the broadcaster's show, today told Five News Wogan was simply the governor of radio. This morning was, um, it was a bit of a toughie, to be honest, uh, because to be given Terry's show in the first place, you know, in 2009 was one thing, but to do a show, his show, in these extraordinary circumstances today, that was entirely another. And, uh, you know, the first half hour was was a bit wobbly, to be honest. Um, but then we started playing clips of him laughing. And, he's, you know, the irony of it is he's got us over it, which is perfect in a way. Here we go, the final total of this very night. Wogan was, of course, also the king of live TV, presenting children in need for more than 30 years, clocking up over 200 hours. Viewers really got to know him. And so did Gabby Rosson, co-presenting with Wogan for over a decade. Today, the presenter shared her fondest memories of a friend. I still really can't believe it that he's not here. He was a cheeky so-and-so is a polite way of putting it. He loved to giggle. He loved to be naughty. He never rehearsed, never went through any notes. He, say, he used to say, oh, I'll just leave it to you, Gabby. Um, but the thing is, he used to just say, hey, it's not brain surgery. Let's just make fun. Let's have fun. Let's make people laugh. Let's make people smile. And that's how he felt about life through and through. So Terry Wogan, a serious talent who didn't take himself too seriously.